that's what we haven't heard about before. Because people like me, who sometimes are attacked this nigga in the middle of the night, we don't report it. This is the fifth time this happened to me, and I've decided that it's too many times, and I'm going to report it. The two, the two men had stopped in their car, drove off in their car as I was walking the dark road by myself. I was repeatedly shouting at nigga. I didn't respond. They were trying to pick a fight with me. Had I been a young black man, then it would end up a fight. And there's a black man getting into a fight. No. Right, right. Right. People like that needed to be reported. I don't want to wait to the police and police refused to report it. I said they said there'd be no CCTV. I said, well I've got the car plate number. The police refused to investigate it. I said, surely the CCTV round man just yeah, said there's no CCTV. I went in, the I went in investigating I it would go yeah. away. Uh, right. I found that the incident actually took place behind the Crown Court in Manchester. The Crown Court said they've got CCTV covering the whole building. Right. Up until now, I've not heard from the police. However, right. I went straight to the press, Manchester Press. Manchester Press rang the police, and the police had already closed the case by daybreak. <laughs> I complained of being, uh, you know, being attacked as a nigger. They, they closed it by daybreak. Uh, as a result, I got two letters. One that the case was closed, but got another one that was reopened. I received angry calls from the police that, why did I go to the press? And I said, well, you said the case was closed, but you had no evidence. And I said, well, yeah. they had broken. And I thought, when I heard CCTV, I then had to question your judgment and your handling of the case. I therefore felt I was necessary to go to the press. But as a result, the press getting involved was a complete turnaround. And they, they then were able to investigate. However, I never heard of them anymore. anymore. Yeah. And obviously, that's CCTV. And do you know that they're, they're making so a race, race cases from Stephen Lawrence still now. A lot of People young boys, yeah. a lot of black young boys. People are making them strip naked in police things for kicks. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what they complained about in police stations. They said they go there, you know, they do search, but then they bring them in and they just make them take all their... To clothes, humiliate them and psychologically and torture and them. And, and it's just like I had somebody from, forgive me for saying it, from the Occupy movement kind of saying, oh, why did I say racist Britain? Yeah. Unfortunately, people feel that, oh, you've got a chip on your shoulder, or you're going to the extreme. No, racism is real, it's very dangerous. Like I said to you, I've met it in the middle of the night by myself, as a woman being attacked as a nigger, 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 and, and, and choosing not to respond in those situations in order for the police to deal with it rather than you. Had I responded, I might have been here. They wanted a fight, they could have done me harm. I chose, it. I chose to we need carry that abuse. It's nothing new. And we it wasn't, it's the fifth time. We need educating. I, the, the first time it, when I was in Manchester, I was in sale. Very we are celebrating car. John Wesley. They, they, the, the abuse that came because out of the car was he faced the same problem 200 car. years ago. And they actually tried to drive the car into my leg. So what they did is they braked, they went up the pavement and drove into my leg, but braked on time and then held out the abuse. So these incidents concerning race are very dangerous incidents because it can miss it Thank leads you. to people's judgment. Uh, and not only that, can I say something? Lead to How violence. many people in Manchester got black blood anyway from the days of slavery? So this is really stupid. People need to educate.